Warriors Forum, uh, where we provide motivation, inspiration, and practical information for your daily routine. So as you can see, we're back in the bedroom um, because I just finished trying to put together an exercise slash food vid for you guys because I wanted to keep to my word and trying to give you some things that you can do from home. I hope that it's funny. Like I said in my last video, I was fooling around with some new editing software, so I've been kind of playing around with things. So I'm going to smush those two together uh, to give it to you real quick, real fast. I think it's only a couple of minutes. Um, and then we're going to come right back in with some stuff for... Um, your inspiration uh, if you're not already motivated to do your exercise and eat right so here we go celery cucumbers peppers tomatoes spinach and kale and you take that and prepare it so that it's easy grabbings for everybody and there you see it so that it's super easy to turn into this next up is the spaghetti and I went ahead and boiled that did the homemade sauce only took about 20 minutes and boom perfection a delicious homemade bowl of spaghetti and sauce what a workout right and got some tips for some good eating and I will try to do it that way from now on that way the videos are the same length that same 10 minutes that you guys expect but not 10 minutes of exercise not 10 minutes of bashing you over the head with healthy eating and healthy snacking but definitely a chance for you to see what type of exercises um, we're doing instead of having to do a full routine for you just an idea of the things that you can do um, and um, a chance for us to kind of look at each other, see each other, be with each other in ways that are helping us during this time. Because as you know, what you eat, how you exercise, and what you put in your body when you're isolated and when you're away from everybody else is going to definitely affect your mood and your mental health. So that's one of the most important things that we take care of here at Heart Speak is your mental health. So that's what I want to make sure that we're doing not just taking care of your mental health but your physical health as well because i think the two just go hand in hand so on the mental health side i know things are a little bit scary today we have topped a million cases of COVID 19 in the entire world uh almost a quarter of a million are right here in the united states a lot of us are finding out that we have friends or family that have been adversely affected by COVID-19 um, because they know somebody who is either sick or they know someone who has died or they know people who have a grandmother who is under investigation or someone who is in the hospital currently in the ICU battling it out with COVID-19. So for me, because I work at home, I don't have to go out every day. I luck out in that department, but Roderick still has to go out every single day. And every day we take our vitamins, we make sure we get our zinc, our vitamin C, our vitamin D, we drink juice, and I send him on his way with every prayer I can send after him 
hoping that he'll be able to protect himself on a regular basis and that he won't catch it and he will not bring it home. Also, if you haven't already heard on the news, please be aware of the fact that you can be asymptomatic. That means you don't have any symptoms. That's right. I'm looking at you who went to the beach this past Saturday and you who was out at the park hanging out, fishing, doing whatever you were doing with your 50 best buddies. Here's the deal. You cannot have any symptoms. You don't have to have fever, don't have to have cough, don't have to have that loss of the sense of taste. We've also heard that people have had um, bouts of diarrhea with it. You don't have to have any of those symptoms at all to be highly contagious and simply passing it around. So what I would like for you guys to do is if you can stay at home, stay at home. There's really no reason for you to go out unless you are headed to the grocery store for essential supplies. Please wait until you have a whole bunch that you need and then go and get it all at one time instead of going every single day. Lowe's is not an essential place. Paint is not an essential thing. Just because you're sitting at home and you want to paint your walls because you're tired of looking at them doesn't make going to Lowe's an essential run. Also, if you're going out for exercise, that's no problem. We don't want you to stay in the house if you don't have to. Go out into your yard. Go out into, hey, hey, hey. I'm trying to have fun. Do what it is that you need to do. Um, enjoy the time outside, but stay away from people. Six feet, it's important. Six to ten, if you can do it. If you're all by yourself, that's perfect. That's great. Also, um, you know, make sure that if you're not going out or you don't have to go out, like you're not deemed essential, you're not a first responder, you're not a healthcare provider, you're not deemed essential for life um, sustaining businesses, d dudes, don't go. Um, I've seen people, um, you know, through other folks' videos, because I obviously haven't been out, but standing in line waiting on takeout food and it's they're not six feet apart and in some cases they were in some cases they weren't but practice that social distancing it's incredibly important for you to do that um to stay safe stay healthy so that's what's going on with the uh COVID-19 and that's my advice to you guys and then I've given you exercise and I've given you healthy eating so the last thing that I want to do is try to get you inspired to be appreciative of what you have going on right now listen sometimes we're so busy in life we are doing so much every single day we have kids we have husbands and wives we have friends and family that want our time take up our time that we want to give our time to but by the same token, we don't usually take enough time for ourselves to relax, to meditate, to just reevaluate re how we feel about life in general. This is that time. It's perfect. It's quiet. There's not as much hustle and bustle. Some of us are not working at all. Some of us are working from home. Some of us are um, working uh, where we can um work a few days a week or we're only working one project you know however your industry crafts your daily routine it is definitely reduced at this point and it's it's a little less stressful so this is a perfect time for you to take a minute look around be thankful for the things that you have around you be glad for what you do have but it's also a time for you to look around and see all the things that you don't need i think that we're going to realize in all of this that there are lots of things that we just don't need that we have sitting around our house that we never touch that we're never going to use that we simply have as a culture of act of excess which is usually why you end up with 43 boxes of colored pencils and five different um, color curtains that you've never hung up or you have 43 board games that you're never going to play because you don't actually like them but you have them just in case one day you decide to have a game night. This is the perfect time to either play those games or donate those games to your neighbors who may have children who might actually play them. So it's definitely a time for reevaluation and you know introspection do some reflection and get involved with yourself this is a time for you to get involved with you and your most intimate people which makes the people that live in your house get to know them reintroduce yourself to them with a busy life we go about we do things every single day we're at work they're at work they're at school you know whatever it is and we only spend dinner together and we spend so much time on our phones and looking away from each other and on social media that we don't even realize that we're in the house with people half the time so do yourself a favor 
get reacquainted with the people who live with you they love you they love you more than most people in the whole entire world and they miss you so this is definitely a time for us to pull the family unit back together this is definitely a time for you to take time for yourself get that bath in every day meditate do those exercises treat yourself to you know that ice cream that you love but back it up with that broccoli that you need okay i love you guys and i'm going to get out of your way and give you the rest of your day this is heart speak coming at you um, wanting to make sure that we stay connected during this time of physical distancing, not social distancing. All right, I love you guys. I think that you're most amazing people. I love you. I know that you're a great version of yourself, and the better version is coming tomorrow. So I'll see you right back here where we provide inspiration, motivation, and practical information for your daily routine. This is Heart Speak out. <laughs>